chauvinist. Hey, hey, fix me a drink. But I'm not a male chauvinist pig. Thank you, woman. <laughs> the other mom's a straight shooting southerner. I don't take no crap. Period. Who's gonna meet her match? I'm the boss, and that's it. A man who's truly the master. Excuse me. Of his own domain. Why don't you go in the attic, make the beds? You got nothing in that plant box. Mop the floor, sweep this, do this, Cinderella, Cinderella. I'm not a maid. It's our most explosive swap yet, and it starts right now. I hate these people. Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but what they don't know is that the new mommy will decide how they spend the money. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? as a, a, a polite, you know, caring person. I do for others all the time. I'm a giver. Basically, I take care of the house. I cook, I clean, I do the laundry, I make the beds, I pick up after them, put things away. Mom does everything. She literally has made written across her forehead. I have a beautiful home. My husband works very hard for the income we have, and uh, I'm very proud of it. Am I happy with what I have? Sure. Have I worked hard for it? Definitely. Do I deserve it? Without a doubt. <sighs> my husband is a strong, hardworking man, a good father, a good provider. Who's got my car keys? My wife chose not to have a work career. She does not have a life outside of the family. She loves being my wife. I find no reason to boss my husband around. Nobody bosses him around. Kristen and Drew, can you set the table to take out some syrup? I'm the boss, and that's it. I mean, what other role do you need? You didn't pack the floor. I was waiting for like another five, ten minutes. Go wash up. Go get your uniform on. Let's go. wife, you have, you know, beautiful cars, you live in a beautiful house in a beautiful neighborhood, and you can do anything you want. But materialistic things aren't real important to us. We just like to enjoy life. At my house, I'm in charge. I won't take I don't take no crap. Now, that's who I am. You don't like me, I'll get Keep up with the dishes and the laundry. Everybody kind of pulls their own weight. I'm not doing it. You don't pay me enough to do it. So Derek has to do dishes. He's clean. Yeah. Nicholas, you know, he takes care of all the animals. It's supposed to get hot today. You better get the bunny a uh, cold bottle. What does Rodney do? Hmm. What does Rodney do? I'm like a baby. <laughs> Careful, Rodney! <laughs> She picks out my clothes for me. I mean, uh, I don't even know what I like to eat. People say, oh, you, you know, get rid of Rodney and get another man. I'm like, I wouldn't raise another man. Ain't no way. I done taught him, trained him. He's done. I ain't never raising another one. I'm 35 years old and never really chose a career. Wanted to kind of do this, wanted to kind of do that. I was interested in law enforcement. I was like, you know what? No, I can't do that because I don't think that I could adhere to the laws themselves. And I'm thinking since I'm so old now <laughs> that I really need to take something serious and really do something. Rodney and I, you know, we was 17, 18 when we got married and you know, like, man, we're gonna pay our rent. What are we gonna do, you know? So, Mom, can we move back home? Um, we're living currently with my mother-in-law. I describe this family as loving. Jen, she's uh, vivacious, bold. <laughs> what are you doing with my glasses? No, mind you. Rodney is a very good father, and he tries to be a role model for them. Ready? Ah! <laughs> 
again. Are you okay? Don't do that again. Not you. Whose hands was on that wrench? If I could change anything about Rodney, I would wish he would take some control and, you know, be more responsible that way, that he'd want to be career-minded. It doesn't matter if we're broke and we're living under a bridge with a dog. Maybe my dog's starving to death. Maybe I'm starving to death. Maybe my children are and everything. But we're still going to be happy. There's like nothing on today, Mom. Kristen, oh, I adore Kristen. She's a little princess. Ow. So, Drew is very, very smart. 3.95 for the year, hell yeah! Not real good in athletics. Ryan is extremely good in athletics. Oh! My relationship with uh, my son Ryan is, is a very good one. I've been his coach and mentor with sports since he's been growing up. There's a special bond that we have. Why more so with him than the others? I'm not sure. Drew and I butt heads. Listen to what I said. I said stop. Now, the excuse fun's me. over. No, excuse me. The fun's over. Drew expresses his frustration in a couple of different levels. I will shoot you in the forehead. As he gets more aggravated or provoked. Over. Shut your mouth. Why don't you even pull that I told you three times, I'm... Mom. He starts to throw things. Stupid remote. Shut up. And when he gets really angry and he can't control it, he'll punch a wall. We have holes to prove it. <laughs> this is like our little slice of America, but it's it's something that's so nice. You you have the house size you want. You have the property you want. It's almost scary how nice this neighborhood is. I couldn't be happier with my husband, with my home, with my children. It's, it's a wonderful life. Don't leave. My relationship with my mom is beyond words. It's going to be a little tough. See if you can handle it. Be yourself. All right? I'm not kidding. She's my saving grace in a family and life and everything. I just love her, and she is one of the most amazing people in the world. All right, we'll be don't overwhelm here. her. All right, I've had a lot of years to get it down to a science. You're only giving her a couple of days to do everything I can. Giving some hillbilly a chance. And if she's sitting by the pool reading a book, you know she's not doing what I do. Because what was the last because time you sat? I was going to say, what was the last time you sat? I'm going to miss just talking with him. He's a good kid, and he promised me he would be on his best behavior. You are irreplaceable. Thank you. <laughs> you are. It's very rare. So it's all gonna be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss you. No, I miss you too, Mama. Let the games begin. Rodney has, of course, reservations about having somebody else here and me gone. I'm gonna miss you, bunch. Of... I don't even know what she was going for. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. He does have a hard time without me. I know, dude. They're gonna be nice to you, honey. If this woman comes in my house and I don't like her, and I'm expecting not to like her, she will be discarded like rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, crying, don't cry. It's gonna be hard. Because I've never been away without my kids, my husband. I've always had somebody my whole life. I don't think I've ever been alone. Man, it's a long time. Yeah. It's a very long time. Now the lostness begins. Good. Take care of my flowers for me. <laughs> so they're blooming and pretty. Bye. Mm. <laughs> you guys are on your own. You I mean, don't do this to me. I see keep doing that. It's a little awkward knowing somebody else is coming here and is gonna, you know, take care of my children. But um, my kids are good kids. They love me dearly. I mean, Ryan was cute. He says I'm not calling her mom. do everything in my power to make them happy and have a good time.
because we have a saying in our house, when mommy's happy, everybody's happy. I'm nervous, but I'm excited, too, because I'm like, what's going to happen? Where am I going? What am I going to say? What am I going to have to cook for these people? Or I'm cleaning for them? Or am I their maid? be so much relieved if this is a really nice looking person. The reason I say a nice looking is important is because you nice looking people are nice people. Jeffrey Dahmer, who's just an average looking person. I'm scared about being this little mom. What are you scared about? I think she's gonna be ugly and mean. I'm just afraid she won't do our laundry, she won't clean out that door, she won't be our mate. The time is getting close. Or like, uh, gosh, what was that one show? You know, where they go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Come on. Well, there's an ongoing joke in my house about the new mom coming in. And not to be stereotypical of someone, but that she's going to be in overalls that barely fit, extremely lazy, come from, like, Hickville somewhere. Who knows? Is it mathematically possible that such a huge treat is just 249? <sighs> if I only had a brain. The Peanut Buster Parfait from Dairy Queen. Creamy DQ soft serve, crunchy peanuts, and hot fudge for just 249. Is your makeup showing? Well, CoverGirl reinvented True Blend, so it won't show even up close. True Blend has color spheres that are attracted to skin. They don't just sit on top, they spread out and blend in. True Blend from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. You know, scientific tests have proven that when you drink Dr. Pepper slowly, the 23 flavors taste even better. Hey, I get it, because half my life's been in slow motion. Watch this. Slower is better. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Your mom can read the signs it's time for potty training. I think it's time we start tiptoe rigging. But to you, it's a foreign language. Mm -hmm. It's potty training, and it is confusing. That's why new Pampers Easy Ups helps make it easy. With the Feel and Learn Liner, toddlers experience the feeling of wetness. It's a new clue from Pampers Easy Ups that helps potty training make sense. New Easy Ups from Pampers. My wife, Patricia, she loses things more often. So Albert was our leader. He was 10. My brother, Peter, keeps telling the same stories over and over. Albert was the oldest. My grandmother, Linda, is starting to forget things. If you're noticing changes like these in someone you love, it could be Alzheimer's, a form of dementia, and there is something you can do to help them. Call today or visit seethesigns.com. We'll send you free information so you can learn about the early signs or symptoms and find out about a prescription treatment option that can help. There's also a list of important questions for you to discuss with your doctor. You'll find out that there may be ways to help Peter, Patricia, and Linda. Call 1-877-823-7221 now or go to seethesigns.com for your free information pack and help the person you love. Oh, hope it's not that one. Hope it's not that one. There's a couple you say, please say no. <laughs> I said, please say no. <laughs> it's so mean. Oh, no. <laughs> we see this um, one lady come by in blonde hair and a pair of overalls. And it's like, I hope that's not hard. So maybe we should hold the sign down and pretend like we're a different family. Hey, Jennifer. Yes. Is that you? Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Hey, I'm Drew. I was really because they looked friendly. You know, they didn't look scary type people, and they're not like, you know, a bunch of headbangers. So let's say, um, Dallas? Dallas. All right, welcome. welcome. Excellent. Dallas overalls, what do we got ourselves into? I'm 99.8% certain I will not like this person. Hopefully. 
hopefully I don't starve to death. Hello there. Hi. Okay. I'm Kathy. You are. Awesome. All right. You look like a normal person. Yay. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> I was anticipating everything but somebody normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see someone classifies me as normal. <laughs> he was probably expecting the same thing I was expecting. He didn't know if I was, you know, a punk rocker. So he had no clue. And I had the same apprehension of him. Surrogate moms and surrogate spouse. Of course, we don't touch each other, you know. <laughs> they take all the fun out of it. <laughs> yeah, man, I, tell you I think it's important to set some ground rules. We kind of set the, the rules in our house that if we go into a bedroom and we shut the door, it means don't come in. So, um... Is that always in your house? Oh, yeah. In our no, house, yeah. If, if the doors are shut, you break them down. If, and when mom. you're a dad, Stop you'll fighting. be able to do anything you want. Well, I'm not going to be a dad only due to the fact that I'm afraid I'll turn out like you. Okay. It wouldn't be such a bad thing. Is feel the love between us? Yeah, well, you know... And I hope I didn't go the wrong way. I was not paying attention. You know, we got lost. I've been to that airport a hundred times, and I took the north entrance. I don't know. I, I have no idea how I did that. I've never done that before. Let me make sure. I think I went the wrong way. So this is the northbound, right? I'm going the wrong way. But I still knew where I was. I can't navigate for you. I have no clue where we are. Yeah. <laughs> now I just got to get us home without wrecking. <laughs> Okay. He seems like a very jovial type of guy, the type of person who just goes with the flow. I've been to this airport a million times, but I mean, I'm nervous. You know, don't I'm, be nervous. We'll be fine. I'm the same way. She's gonna bite me. No, no please don't bite me. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you excited? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Sure. You scared? Yes, I'm here. When we pulled up, I was like, oh my gosh, I pulled into the Brady Bunch's home. Our house is uh, 4,400 square feet. Oh my gosh, you got a huge house. You got like two our houses. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. This is Kathy. I'm Kathy. I'm Nicholas. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Hi, I'm Kathy. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Nice to meet you. And when Kathy first walked in the door, the word that flashed to me was friendly. She's kind of normal looking. <laughs> <laughs> Your house. Or here's our home. Wow, it's huge. Is it? Yeah. Okay. When we walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, y'all have a foyer, y'all have a private sitting room that's just for the adults. Kids aren't allowed in. I think when she saw the house, she was a little overwhelmed, which made me feel really good. This is our kitchen. Toaster, fridge, oh, closet. Good. Basically, you, so big. Basically, mom. No, my lives, kitchen's like this. You are. Mom lives here and in that corner because that's the laundry room. Yeah. So she lives between these two. They have this huge kitchen that's awesome, and I was thinking, my gosh, this poor woman is in my home, saying this lady has no room. Yeah. Yeah, there's our kitchen. Excellent. Nice. Look at that. This is, this is my room. But all up here is all Broadway. All around the mirror is Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> everything. Brittany. He likes theater, he likes to dance, sing, you know, he's very, you know, you know, I don't know what that word is. So who got you into Broadway, your mom? I don't know. I think, I don't know who it was that put me in theater. Kind of just happens. This is mine in his room, this mine and Derek's. Right. Right. <laughs> you make your own beds, is that something mom does? Well, I was thinking, man, I could take advantage of this moment, but I decided I'll be nice to her because I want them to be nice to my mom, so. Hey, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. In my house, I make the beds, but that may change. <laughs> okay, I want to go out and pollute the environment. non-smoking family because it's a non-smoking house. She's polluting the property. Go yell at her, kids. Would your mom smoke cigarettes? No. Go yell at her. I was thinking this is a really cool home. It's upstairs, downstairs. It's beautiful. And their backyard is so beautiful. It might be nice being a rich housewife. Yeah, let me enjoy a little of the rich life. If you need anything, just let me know. Okay.
Hey, I'm supposed to be the mom, so don't treat me like a guest. No, I'm just if you don't just know where show something me the is. Washing machine is. <laughs> show me where the stuff is. Right. <laughs> Work doesn't intimidate me. Betty seems like a sweetheart, very, very sweet person. Um, I'm glad there's another girl in the house, so I don't feel, you know, out <laughs> all by myself. I feel terrible. Don't I'm taking you out of your room. <laughs> you sure? I'm positive. You get uncomfortable. Just let me know. quickly obviously <laughs> it's a big responsibility because people we want to make people happy so it's a big responsibility to find out what it is that they really need it's a very interesting twist so now this other lady is at my house and she's observing how I live and she's taking notes and getting to know my family and she's gonna decide what it is I should spend my money on Bunt's old news. Introducing new ultimate flatbreads from Long John Silver's. Warm, freshly prepared flatbreads with fish, shrimp, or chicken, just two ninety nine dollars each. Only at Long John Silver's. Can't find a long wear shade you really want to spend time with? CoverGirl Outlast gives you the most shades in long wear. What you see is what you get. With Outlast, it's love at first sight. So you actually want it to last all night. Easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. Prescription drug prices. Everyone's talking about it. But now we can actually do something about them. Go to Walmart. At Walmart, the prices are unbeatable. Over 300 prescriptions are just $4 for a 30-day supply. And a convenient 90-day supply is now only $10. I looked at the receipt and I thought it was a mistake. The pharmacist just smiled and said, That's what everyone says. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Andrea Barrow is a real Geico customer, not an advertising spokesperson. So to help tell her story, we hired one. One day a rock chipped the windshield on my car. Oh dear, broken glass sends shivers down my bottle. I filed my claim at geico.com and scheduled an appointment. It was a piece of cake. Or maybe more like hot pancakes. The repairman came right to my house and fixed my baby like new. Now I feel rich. Thick and buttery, too. Geico. Real service, real savings. Oh, someone has put a logo right over my face. I'm Alyssa Milano. Here's something you might not know about me. I used to have acne. There were times when my skin was so bad that they'd have to schedule filming around my breakouts. And all the makeup in the world couldn't hide it. I sort of figured that this was it, that I was just going to be someone that suffered from acne forever. My family friends suggested that I try Proactive. I started using it, and I couldn't believe it. Almost immediately, Proactive cleared up my acne. My confidence was boosted, and filming around my breakouts wasn't an issue anymore. Proactive Solution is a powerful acne-fighting system, strong enough to heal acne, gentle enough to use every day. Proactive is the only product I ever used that not only cleared up my skin, but kept it clear day after day. I use it once in the morning and once just before bed, and that's all it takes to keep my skin clear, glowing, beautiful. Join Alyssa Milano and millions of satisfied, proactive customers who have clear, beautiful skin. Order in the next four minutes and save 50%, only $19.95. I went from, you know, having really bad acne to having clear skin, and I have not had not one pimple. It's amazing. You have no idea what a big difference it's going to make in your skin. And you will never have to think about your skin again. Try Proactive now and get our fast-acting refining mask free. Designed to clear problem zits overnight. It's dramatic. It just dries out the zit and it goes away. <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> There's no downside in trying Proactive right now. We guarantee it works or your money back. So come on. Pick up the phone and get one step closer to gorgeous, glowing, clear skin. What are you waiting for? Go to Proactive.com or call 1-800-562-9170.
That's 1-800-562-9170. Morning. I woke up this morning by Arthur knocking on my door. I'm just getting the kids are up now, but if we can get their stuff together. All right. Yeah. Um, I can use some help. I had a list of all the things he mentioned that had to be done, the vacuuming, the sweeping, mopping. All right, so um, Jen, basically at this point, Kathy, when I leave to leave them, she'd go upstairs and do the sweep through the rooms, make the beds, um, check the laundry. We definitely need to get some laundry going today. The way Arthur treats me and waking me up and telling me, okay, these are the chores you need to do, this is what my wife would do, it kind of ticks me off. Just to keep in mind, reds we wash completely separate. You don't want pinks? No, we don't want pinks. Okay. All right. Arthur is definitely in control. This is his house. It's his castle. I think his wife is his maid, his cook. I think he's waited on hand and foot. How we do? The bed's all made upstairs? Did you make your bed? So. No, Mom makes the beds. My bed's not made. You can make your own bed, right? My wife makes my bed. Actually, she does. I don't make my bed. The worst was when he didn't make his bed and he wanted me to make his bed. I was thinking, okay, that's just nasty. You slept in that bed. That's your body hair and your sweat, and I don't know what else. You should make your own bed. Y'all clean y'all's bathroom? What do you mean, clean our own bathroom? Uh, well, I understand. I vacuum for you. Yeah. Arthur does zero around the house. Mop the floor, sweep the this, do this, sit around, sit around. I'm not a maid. Jennifer's going to get a quick lesson in the way the machines work around here. Mom never stops from the time mom wakes up to the time she goes to bed. Well, if she was looking for a vacation, it's not going to happen. So you got to move, move quicker. Yuck. Smoking is, is one of those pet peeves that, you know what, we don't smoke. And it's a major issue. So I don't expect someone to come into our home and also smoke in the, in the backyard. True. Look down for with a cigarette. If she wants to have a cigarette, it's got to go outside the area. All right, just ask her to take her cigarettes out. OK. Get over it, Dad. Um, Dad wanted me to tell you he's just wants you to smoke outside the property. All right. Walk outside the fence? Yes. But I just had to let you know. Yeah. It apparently bothers Arthur that I smoke. And I think that's a conflict that's going to occur between us. You know, these conditions, I'm going to smoke even more. And I'm a defiant person. That's my nature. You tell me no, and I'm like, Shh. yeah, I'm a stranger. You know, and he's always, you know, you know, comment on me smoking, but if he grabs at me about smoking, you know, that's a big issue, and I have a problem with that. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, and we thank you that for this new friend that we've just made, Lord, and we just ask for a, a blessed week. Bless this food to our bodies, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 This house is very nice. These people can be more welcoming. It was nice to know I didn't have to go right in and start cooking. They're doing all the work. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually quite relaxed. So are you guys on your best behaviors right now, or is this how you normally act? That's pretty normal. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wow, normal. that's great. <laughs> Her kids don't fight at all, and so I feel a little sorry for Jen. I hope she can't tolerate my children. Sit there, go. Um, how? Why? Everybody ready? I'm trying to put your legs over there. Tonight, on the way to the dinner, we was riding, everybody was fine, talking and stuff. Shut your mouth, you fat pig. You are. You get in trouble and you throw a pussy fit? Shut here. your mouth before you get decked. Where am I going to get decked? Dad, sitting down, okay? take care of him. No, Dad, just tell him to shut up. No. Yeah, but she said so. Shut up. Ow, why did you Drew. me? Because I told you to Drew. shut up. I you, warned you. Your hands, you so. Give me my phone. I warned you twice already. Arthur started arguing with Drew. But you have no right to hit him, Andrew. Well, I don't respond to that, Arthur. Drew. Arthur. Well, really? put you in your place, I'll put you in your Shut your place. mouth, or I'm going to shut your mouth for you. Drew. Drew, stop! And then, of course, 
Kristen got in it and escalated like the small little thing turned into this huge fight. Shut up and mind your own freaking business. Just caring for my brother. Don't punch me, stupid. Hey, no, stupid Shut your freaking mouth and mind your own business. Move your chair, Drew. I can't. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Shut your freaking mouth. Shut up! I don't like fighting. I don't like bickering. I like peace and love and harmony. If I had to come home to fighting every night, I wouldn't come home. Just shut your freaking mouth and mind your own business. I'm going insane. No, Kristen, shut your mouth. When they are playing around, you can trust he's on their team. New Quaker Chewy Bars with Protein. The tasty granola bar that helps keep them going with five grams of protein. When he's on the outside, you can trust there's good things on the inside. New Quaker Chewy Bars with Protein. Are boring buns old news? Introducing new Ultimate Flatbreads from Long John Silver's. Warm, freshly prepared flatbreads with fish, shrimp, or chicken, just $2.99 each. Only at Long John Silver's. Airwalk, American Eagle, Hannah Montana, Champion, SmartFit. Get styles that never slow them down and shop the brands you trust. Starting at $9.99, now at Payless. So if you work here, do you get free Raisin Bran Crunch? <laughs> hey, guys. I got the marketing director on the phone. It's time to pitch the taglines. The crunch is so great, it makes me salivate. Raisin Bran Crunch? More like Amazing Bran Crunch. You'll really enjoy this cereal. Raisin Bran Crunch. Buy me some, Mom! Raisins, flakes, and honey oak clusters. They're quite a trio. Raisin Bran Crunch! From Kellogg. The secret to better hair color? It's Garnier Nutrice. The secret? With a separate grapeseed oil concentrate, Nutrice starts nourishing while you color. Because nourished hair means better color. And only Nutrice nourishes with both grapeseed and avocado oils. For richer, more radiant color. Root to tip. And grays, they're your secret. Discover better color. It's Garnier Nutrice. Nourished hair, better color. Garnier. Snapple, I love their white tea. It's lighter, has natural antioxidants, and it's decaffeinated. But guys, somebody's got to tell me, what is white tea? White tea is a baby tea leaf, and why it still has naturally light flavor. With pumpkin. That's it? That's it. All natural Snapple white teas, the lightest tasting teas in delicious fruit flavors. I ran track in school and I was fast, but working long hours and keeping up after two kids, that's moving, especially when it comes to dinner. Putting a meal on the table that we all like is work. And Hamburger Helper is there to give you a hand with the quick and easy meal everyone will enjoy every day. The dinner table is where I learned how to be responsible. Shoot, <laughs> how to hold a fork right. Teaching them right from wrong, that's my job. She may not be a track star anymore, but she's a star in their eyes. Hamburger Helper. One pound, one pan. Working for Diddy would just open up the entire world for me. I want to see if I'm tough enough, if I'm strong enough. How far I can really push myself if I really want something. To live the dream, you have to work for it. You got five minutes to figure it out. Now you're embarrassing me, though. Okay. I want this job. I need this job. <laughs> This is what it's like in the heat of battle, baby. I Want to Work for Diddy premieres this Monday at 9. This is going to change my life. Watch and discuss. I get the impression here that Rodney is extremely dependent on the people around him. But everybody does everything for Rodney, so he doesn't have to. Fix me a drink, mama. I believe that a woman should do what women do. You know, cook the food and organize the stuff and get everything all good, you know. Just make sure everything's right. All right, I'm gonna let you ladies do the kitchen stuff there. Is that kosher? We were doing a barbecue picnic today, so we were trying to gather everything together that we needed. What else can I do to help you? Kathy and I was handling the food, and uh, 
Rodney was in charge of getting all the camping stuff and the cooking stuff together to go. My dad most definitely doesn't like to do that much around the house. I know that. <laughs> so, did you find everything okay? Pretty much. We got um, chicken. I'm still trying to figure out what Rodney does. Yeah, the tent's ready. Everything's ready. Got all everything you need. Yep. You're bringing propane. Um, that's a good idea. I would have forgotten all about it. I'm gonna get it now before I do forget about it. Oh, you know what we need? Umbrellas. We were excited. We were going to the lake. We are going to go swimming, and we're going to have a big cookout. I think we were quite prepared. You know what? I'm going to get some keys, and I'll be right back. <laughs> keys would be helpful. <laughs> to Atlantis Aquarium, which is very cool. Yeah, it's probably one of the lamest ideas I've heard. Oh, I like aquariums. Personally, I can't stand the aquarium. I've been there who knows how many times. I mean, I have no desire to go there today. Yes. You, you're coming with us. No! It is a family event. No! I'm not going! Joe, you didn't listen to the second plan. What, what's the second plan? Well, you already blew a hairy fit and you ran away. Well, I'm not going, Dad, so that's the first plan. Go. What's the second one? First of all, this is a family event. And so the you just go as a family, then. I'm not part of the family, then, today. I just don't want to go to a juvenile aquarium. Just this is one not, day. This is stupid as okay. all. I'd rather sit here and twiddle my thumbs all day. That's not enough. No, it's not now, fair. You shut your mouth and I'm let I'm waiting for you to continue. I can't because well, you're talking. Go. If Drew was my son, he would never be allowed to talk to me the way that he talks to his parents. Instead of sitting there and complaining that I'm talking talk. I'm not complaining. You're... Just go! Part two. Part two is... What's part two? Part two is you can fight one of your friends with you and have them join us if you... No, but I'm still them. not going. Drew, wow, he's very dramatic and extreme. He's a drama queen. I'm gonna go lock myself in my room then. I'm not going. That's the end of that. It's very frustrating to see him go off on these tangents. I wish it didn't happen. We, we deal with it. Surprise, I'm not an alcoholic. Let's go. It's 90 degrees out here, nice breeze. Very nice day to be out on the lake. I think Kathy's gonna have a good time out here. I'm telling you right now, I ain't gonna be able to stay in the sun like for hours at a time. Don't worry about it. Hey, Derek, get over here. Help me get this thing set up so we can get these girls out of the sun. When we first got there, Rodney tried putting up the tent where all the adventures started. This is a, just a pop-up thing. We're gonna pull it apart. Just grab it by its legs, walk out with it. Opens up like an accordion. Let me go inside and see what's going on. OK, grab these things here and push them up. Up, up, up. All right. Something's binding it. No, I'm not sure about these legs going up. We have a canopy at home. I put it up all the time. I knew they were doing it wrong. I think you have to close it up again and open it and start again. Like, go all the way down to the bottom. That's what I was doing. Get out of here, girl. We got it. I tried to help, but he just didn't really want to listen to me. So I just stood there and um, let him do it their way. It just stands to reason to me that these things have to slide up. Very crazy design. I get the impression that Rodney isn't very bright. Where's the instruction manual? You know, Rodney, there's a nice tree right over there. Really? <laughs> like a half hour later, we got the, the canopy up, and we tried to start the barbecue. Yeah. Derek, you got this uh, bug stuff on you? Where's your propane? Bringing propane? Um, that's a good idea. I would have forgotten all about it. I'm gonna get it now before I do forget about it. You've got to be kidding me. Do what? <laughs> Rodney's sole responsibility was to pack the propane for the barbecue. I didn't get the propane. <laughs> we gave them one job to do these men, and they couldn't do it. 
The day started off horrible. You know, just everything was just going bad. Kathy was complaining and I guess trying to bum the whole crowd out. How far is it to McDonald's? <laughs> Walmart is about three miles on the left. Well, I gotta run up here and get some uh, propane real quick. I'll be back in a few minutes. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a dead truck here. <laughs> Rodney, you got two sticks? We'll just light and fire that. Trauma number one was we couldn't get the can beer. Trauma number two was we didn't have the propane. So this was like three strikes and we were out. Man, oh man. I think Rodney's problem is that he's been an idiot. <laughs> Okay, he tried to pinch me. Well, my dad told me this was going to be a family outing to go to the aquarium. I actually really was upset and did not want to go at all. But ultimately, I said, you know what? For Jen's sake, let me do this. I'll put on a smile and I'll just pretend that I'm having fun. Hey, you're going to make the thing freaking squirt out something. <laughs> I'm glad Drew decided to go to this aquarium today. Someone's <laughs> catching crabs. <laughs> They're playing? <laughs> He is very funny. He is a dork. I mean, dorky funny. That's like a menage a trois for them. Hey, that just have, like, they don't know what that means, Dad. You'd be surprised. Me and Drew have buddied up, and it should make this week fun. to be a star. He wants to be the center of attention. I think Arthur might be embarrassed of the way his son behaves in public. I think he just thinks, oh gosh, here we go. You know, he's putting on the Ritz. One. This man finally popped the question. Like it? Oh, it's so beautiful. But his visa card was over the limit. I'm so sorry. There seems to be a problem. His fiance told him to call American Express. Okay, this one's so cool. A Gold Card member wanted a special gift for his wife's birthday. Oh. So I got him tickets through Gold Card events for the concert of the year before they went on sale. Got him. Call 1 800 the card for the preferred rewards gold card. This one's quite romantic. Card member calls up, wants to take her husband to this really authentic Italian restaurant. I say it's easy with our rewards program. Go online, pick almost any flight, you can pay with points and go. Tear me soup. Italian food in Italy. Bellissimo. Get up to five additional preferred rewards gold cards for one low fee. Are you settling for less? Or are you a card member? Call and apply now. I love this Snapple white tea. But what is white tea? White tea is a baby tea leaf. And why it still has some naturally light flavor. Whip up tea. That's it. That's it? Snapple white tea. The lightest teas on earth. I got a feeling that the last of me. In the morning. Gillette. The people who know men best. Introduced Gillette High Performance Shampoo. Engineered with charged cleansers that attract dirt and oil. And power them away for a charged clean that lasts all day. New Gillette High Performance Shampoo. Take charge of your hair. Entrez. Bon, ici la chambre. J'aime beaucoup ces voix. Hey, Brad's phone. Brad doesn't have AT&T, which means we've got no bars here in France. So... Thanks for the call about the room that's become available at the Five Star Hotel. That's great news. Only we won't get it. 
news. Looks like old French toast here is going to take this place instead. Vous avez vu la télévision? Oh, isn't he cute? For the best coverage, switch to AT&T. More bars in more places. For a limited time, get our exclusive LG Shine for only $49.99. Is it mathematically possible that such a huge treat is just $249? <sighs> if I only had a brain. The Peanut Buster Parfait from Dairy Queen. Creamy DQ soft serve, crunchy peanuts, and hot fudge for just $2.49. If you're over 65, have diabetes, and are on Medicare, you may qualify for a free meter and cookbook offer from Liberty Medical. You know, there are still some people who don't know that the cost of their diabetes testing supplies may be covered by Medicare. Well, if you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, your testing supplies may be covered. Here's how it works. Liberty is a Medicare participating provider. They bill Medicare and your insurance company. You pay nothing up front. Your testing supplies are delivered right to your door and no charge for shipping. You have nothing to worry about because when it's time to reorder, Liberty will remind you. Call now to see if you qualify for your free meter. Call Liberty Medical. They can help you live a better life. Call today for your free meter. Plus, get a free diabetic cookbook when you join Liberty. Call 1-888-240-5350. went to bed last night, I told Jennifer, I said, we're going to get up about 7.30, and I need your help to get the kids going. Come in. Yeah. All right. I'll see you when you come out. It was stupid for two of us to get up, to get kids after school, and he's going to take them. Why should I have to get up and do that? All right, let's go. Turn after. in front of me. It's called traffic. What happened with Drew? I feel a little bad. <laughs> I was supposed to take the kids to school and, you know, I forgot Drew. I woke up this morning to find that my dad laughed at me once again. I've taken care of myself since sixth grade. It's not us as a family. It's them as a family without Drew. I was laying in bed sleeping, and the phone's ringing. And I was like, I wonder if that's Arthur. I mean, that's a first thought, you know. I bet that's him calling to wake me up, you know, just to annoy me. You need to wake up. I didn't answer the phone, but I got up, you know, woke me up. I was up. Nicholas, you got a bank statement. What does that mean? What does that mean, a bank statement? That means the money that you have in the bank. Which money do I have in there? <laughs> Twenty four cents. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. That's not. Yes. Yeah, I borrowed three hundred and fifty dollars from my ten year old son. How pathetic is that? Yeah, but is that good or bad with that face you made? It's bad because we borrowed his money <laughs> and he just forgot about it. Oh. Rodney took money from his ten year old boy. That's absurd. Yeah, 350 was like, man, we, we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grow up now. Let's get a job. Let's take care of your family. Take some of the burden off your wife. <laughs> He's 10 years old and had to borrow money from you. <laughs> <laughs> My kid's richer than me. <laughs> having her morning smoke. Jen? Get back early. Cigarette time. 
when he walks up, I can just feel. It's just like, oh, God, oh, here he comes, you know. It's on my back, you know. I can, all the hairs go up. Have you been calling? Yes. So I called back, and I called back. Did you make the bus? I didn't even check. I'm like, well, I don't know if he's gone. You know, I didn't check. That's not my responsibility. He Come said here. he was still sufficient. Still got to check on him. We're a team. She's there to help me, and she wants to be lazy. to get to quit smoking this week. She was too lazy to go get the ashtray. She was flicking her ashes in the pool. To me, that's a form of disrespect. I mean, you're in my home. He grabs at me about smoking her, but that's not an issue. He finds fault in everyone. He, he picks fights. I have the worst case scenario. She's the mom from hell. Yeah, that's the only way to say it. Do you long for longer hair but get stopped by breakage? Now, new beautiful lengths from Pantene makes damaged hair up to 10 times stronger against breakage. So you can grow it longer. New beautiful lengths from Pantene. You can celebrate Jared's 10th anniversary of taking it off and keeping it off. Win a chance to be at a Subway commercial. Text Jared to Subway or 782929. Standard text messaging rates apply. Visit SubwayFreshBuzz.com for official rules and alternate means of entry. Void where prohibited. Subway. Eat fresh. Right now, Proactive Solution has good news if you have a difficult pimple or sudden breakout and can't find relief. Because when you order now, you'll get the exclusive refining mask free with your three-piece kit. Just a dab, and the mask is designed to zap problems. It's fast. It's dramatic. Instead of hoping for an answer, use the mask, and you've got it. I use the mask for spot treatment sometimes. You know, I put it on in the evening before I go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning, you don't have acne, and, you know, that's a good feeling. It works the fastest. It's potent. That's what I tell people. It's like my little skincare army. Call now and order the amazing proactive solution to heal your acne and help prevent future breakouts. Proactive is the number one best-selling acne system in America called Best Acne Treatment by Allure Magazine. I enjoy life more. I get out there and I do the things that I want to be doing without having to, to worry about the way that I look. And now, you'll save 50% on Proactive when you order in the next four minutes, just $19.95. Proactive has really, you know, changed my life. It's, it's changed the way people see me, and every hour of the day, I'm thankful for it. It's, you know, like gold in a bottle, really. <laughs> and you'll have the refining mask to zap problems it's fast as it helps reduce redness and calms your skin. For on-the-spot pimple control, I use the refining mask. Just a little dab, that's all you need. It's a proactive exclusive, and it's yours free when you order the proactive kit at 50% off. I use the mask over my full face just so that I can make sure everything's even. It's great. Order in the next three minutes, and you can have the amazing refining mask at no charge. It's a proactive best product, and it's part of Proactive's best offer. I can tell it works. I know it works, and it's definitely my favorite product. Don't just dream of clear, beautiful skin. Make it real. Order Proactive now and get a free upgrade to priority shipping. Call 1-800-923-7641. It just makes you feel so good. Introducing the hottest fashion find of the season. New Tide Total Care. Tide's new seven-sign technology goes beyond clean. It not only fights stains and cleans thoroughly, but helps preserve shape and finish. Enhance softness, prevent pills, and protect color so you're always dressed to the sevens. New Tide Total Care. Your Tide is showing. Once you switch to Swiffer Sweeper Vac, you'll never go back to your old broom again. Swiffer Sweeper Vac does it all. Its powerful vacuum picks up the big stuff. And Swiffer Dry Cloths trap and lock dirt and dust better than a broom. Or your money back. Guaranteed. Tonight on CMT, let the swap begin on trading spouses. Then Jamie Foxx proves that life is a contact sport. And later, Scott Bayo is 45 and single.
would run away. The home's supposed to be your castle, not a place where it's chaotic and, and angry. The tension between Drew and his father is wham, bam, right in your face. Let's go! I don't like fighting. I don't like bickering. I cannot deal with tension like that. I'm gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh. I don't care if anybody in the world doesn't want one. Do you want meat on yours? No, cheese straight up will be great. Yeah, that's what I want. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Service with a smile. Mm -hmm. Kathy believes that uh, she, she is, in a sense, above me, and I don't care for that. Something burning. No, I've got it taken care of. I had made grilled cheese sandwiches. Kathy had an unfortunate accident happen to hers. Mm -hmm. And I know Kathy doesn't care for bugs, so I figured, okay, fine, you'll get a bug in your soup. Nuh -uh. I knew it wasn't funny, but I wanted to do it anyway, because that's who I am. Mm. Oh, it smells good in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> here's the tomato soup. And here's the... There you go. <laughs> Why are you holding your stomach? <laughs> that was just childish. He was trying to embarrass me. I can't wait till day seven. I want to go home. What you doing? Greeting. Greeting? outside by the driveway. The way Arthur treats me, it kind of ticks me off. Make the beds, um, check the laundry. We definitely need to get some laundry going today. This isn't life. This is insane. I'm just fed up. Game's over. I'm going to take over and run this family. Remember what happens with this if I get mad? What yeah, am I gonna do? I'm gonna throw in the ball, remember? Right you know what the Messina family means? Mess in a family. Spill it out. Mess in a family. Can I take some? Do you mind? Am I allowed to eat? Anything. Before we even start dinner over here, okay. can we stop with this? No, you don't need to give me attitude. I wanna sit here and have a peaceful dinner. You wanna have a nasty one, you can go in another room. Thanks. Ryan, take Hello. your attitude and go somewhere else. Okay, you seem to be the one with the attitude, so you can go somewhere else. I'll shut your mouth and mind your own business. I need you to sit down, because I have something to say. Well, you know, since I've got here, I've been doing things, you know, y'all's way. You know, I come and I don't know anything. I just say, okay, what do y'all need me to do? What, is, what does your mom do? Well. Surprise. Well, starting now, we will do things my way. I will run the house. We will do things the way I would do things at home. Wow. Yes. I, will, I will say who does what. And so y'all are going to see what it's like, actually, if you had a different mom. The way I'm looking at things is, this is my home. The kids are mine. I marked my territory. It's like an animal in the woods, perhaps. This is my area. You mess with my area, I come after you. 